All right. It's now day three of the marble tournament. We are going to be starting off with the losers round two. We're going to go through this round two, the semifinals and the losers semifinals as well today. And then the finals and the grand finals will be done all in one day. So first game we got today is the Goobers versus Team Titanic. Uh, they're going to be going off first. And then we got Team Thunder and Team Tom Foolery, followed by Alchemist and Mind's Eye. And then followed by the winner of both of these rounds here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, a new map. Here we go. Oh, actually, it's not a new map, but it, it, it looks new. Uh, why is there a whole thing up here? Just for them to start down here. Mm -hmm. We will see what that what that is. Right now. Oh, God. Oh, they're going up. There they go. They've now fallen down. 250k and Goofy straight through. Russian Astro kind of kind of got off a of battle line here. 250k with a strong start, missing all the pegs. He's to go down here, hopefully trying to avoid all these pegs here, and will do so. Don't want to go too fast, otherwise you will fly off of the map. You don't want to ruin all this progress. You have to get the really strong start here. It's a little messed up there. Goofy coming down fast, but also gets slowed down as well. 250k with an interesting line here. Oh, but we'll take some 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 uh, some speed loss there, but might have been actually been good because it cuts off him from going all the way out and having to go all the way back. So it might have been a good idea. He is the professional after all, and I am just the caster. Goofy close behind still. Trying to catch up a little bit after getting a rough little start uh, through the little peg area. Rush and Astro have actually caught up a little bit. But 250k with a very strong lead here. But we'll have to navigate this quite smoothly. And it looks like he's going to do exactly that. This is a brand new map, so there have been no records made on this map yet. Okay, still going through. Goofy's going to go backwards, and it looks like 250k is going to actually take the win here. Get first place. Goofy needs to finish now. Does not want to get Rush the lead here, but might actually do that. No, Rush is going backwards, and so is Goofy. Astro going the wrong way. They don't want to take that route, really. This is a potential ace moment, and I think it's going to be that, but Astro has a chance here. To slow it down or potentially get second place here to limit the amount of points. Rush is going to get knocked off the map. Uh-oh. I think it's going to be a tie no matter what here. Actually, if Goofy, if Goofy makes it, it means two of them finish while only one of the other team finished. So it probably mean more points for them. So after that, 250k did win this one, but his teammate did not make it. So we're going to give Goobers one point here for two of their teammates, for the whole team making it since Rush actually fell off the map. All right, on to race number two of the loser's bracket, round two, match one. I need specification. There is explosions happening on the course. What is this, the Boston Marathon? Goofy and Astro actually with a nice lead here, sticking together here. But will they get a good entrance here? They will miss. But I don't think they're going to go backwards. I don't think they go backwards. Goofy playing risky here, but will get through. Rush. Go straight through. He's going to catch up to Goofy here. Rush catching him just a little bit. Astro's going to hit another bomb. Goofy's going to surpass Astro here. But Rush is very close behind. Goofy found a great line there. Not a good exit line. So that's going to leave Astro and Rush to catch up a little bit. 250k still kind of in the back after winning the last round. He's probably a little distraught. A little upset from his teammate for not actually finishing the race and getting them the points that they deserved. He's going to get stopped a little bit, and he's going to go in the last place here. He's going to throw a little bit here. Rush and Astro in second place. 250k right there is anyone's game right now, and 250k hits a peg. It is now up to Rush and Astro, but there's a lot of obstacles that can that can hinder this coming up. Astro going through. Needs to stay on the outside here. Doesn't want to get hit back, and he will do exactly that. We'll stay to the outside. The outside is definitely the preferred method here. Goofy. Had a good route, but Astro will be the slowest. Astro's going to be the first one to make it. Rush and 250k are right there. And it looks like it's going to be a tie coming in here. 
Here we go. Chills has the best time on this map here from this season. Got to watch over the asteroids here. The asteroids will hinder what happens here. Asteroid actually gets a little bit of a boost off the, off the asteroid. We also want to not go back and forth off the walls. We want to stay in the center. So avoiding pinging back and forth will be ideal. Goofy still in the lead here. Uh-oh. Goofy is making a mistake here. He's going to the outside. We saw this happen in one of the other previous matches. And it actually destroyed the other team. But he manages to get himself off the wall here. Now it's 250k making the mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't go to the outside. Goofy with a strong lead here. Astro catching up. This is perfect. 250k making a terrible mistake once again. A little downhill here. Goofy. Astro rush is right there. It is going to be an ace for the Goobers here. Five to one. They just need two more points to secure the victory. Also a newer map here we have not seen. 250k down strong. Astro coming in. Got to navigate on the bumps. Got to go to the outside on the bumps here. Astro takes the lead. But will immediately hit a peg. And 250k comes back into the lead. Takes over again. But he will also hit a peg. Will Astro do the same thing? No. He's going to catch up and take the lead it looks like. Yes, he will. Astro. Ooh, 250k also hits another peg there. Not ideal. Astro gets through. 250k is going... Insanely fast through there. I don't know what the heck happened there. Astro and Goofy are in the lead again. Remember, they just need two points and they move on to the next round of the loser's bracket. But Goofy will take a mistake. Actually, he won't. He makes a he makes an insane move there. Took a very big risk with going straight for the hole and actually it paid off for him. Astro going a different route than his teammate here. He's going to go through the middle. Rushing 250k going the same exact route. We'll see which one was actually better here. Astro falls through. And it looks like Goofy is going to move on to the next leg of this race here. Got to make sure you make it straight in. Otherwise, you will die. Astro off to the side a little bit. But makes it in. All four of them have made it here. Goofy gets stopped a little bit. Rush coming up, but also gets stopped. Rush is actually getting knocked out of the map. And he is gone. Oh, this could be this could be bad. Oh, he's going to go backwards. He's going to miss it. Hopefully, he comes back and makes it this time. Astro's also going to miss it. If he goes through finally, and it looks like he is going to secure first place for the Goobers. Astro's going to also make it through, and it might be another ace. Another ace is crazy. And it will be exactly that. Another ace for the Goobers. They have turned up. They have strategized. They did all they needed to to move on to the next round here. Eight to one final here in the first match of round two in the loser's bracket. And this will mean that Team Titanic sinks. All right. So it looks like Arson and, and is it Elixir have a terrible start with being all the way up here. And Jordy has one of the better starts being all the way at the front here. RNG at its finest. Jordy gets knocked through. Sam came through fast, but kind of went straight to the sides. Not ideal. Jordy's going to go straight through. What a line by Jordy. Jordy's been having an insane play in this tournament as well. And Sam did the same thing. But Sam will do better this time. Jordy's going to have a little bit more speed here. The slowdown kind of hurt her a little bit. And Sam looks like she's the first one to go through here. Legs are coming through. Sam gets straight through the hole there. Precision at its finest. But Jordy's going to have a lot more speed and might catch up here. This one is dangerous. Sam is going to get knocked out. And Jordy's also going to get knocked backwards. Not ideal. Sam makes it through. Gets back first place. Going straight through the holes here. There goes Sam. But she's going to get knocked backwards. And Jordy will get knocked straight through. But Sam's going to have a more speed. But once again, it hits the sides. And it won't help her. Jordy's right here. Gets stopped by a peg. This is giving Sam some opportunity. But she has too much of a lead for Sam to catch up here. But Sam and Elixir are going to tie this game up here. 
first game is a tie. We are not surprised by this. Mind's Eye been an absolute dominating team here in the tournament. Same with the Alchemist. It is now one to one. And we're back on the Endurance test map. Same with a bad start here. She might take her time to get through, but she's already kind of falling down the funnel, which is ideal in this situation. She did not have good RNG, but she made the best of it. I think she's actually in the lead here. It looks like she is. She might bonk into Jordy here. Oh, Jordy might do the same thing. And they're both going to go in neck and neck here. Sam has the lead. It's Sam and Jordy. Neck and neck here. Sam gets stopped by the peg. Jordy will not. And will overtake Sam going down the middle path here as they enter into the uterus. Sam, nice line there. Elixir coming through, but slowly. But right now, they do have a win with Arson being very much in the back right now. But Arson might have a good line here. And does make up some time with that. But Elixir has such a far lead, I don't think it's going to matter here. But there are some more spin obstacles that Sam will have to traverse. She has shown precision here and shows it once again. Sam and Jordy both have great precision skills when it comes to these spinners. But Sam not showing it here now. Showed it in the last obstacle, but not here. And Jordy will show it and surpass Sam. Might be another tie here. And it looks like it's going to be exactly that. As Jordy gets first, it's going to be another tie. Jordy once again getting first again. Two firsts in a row for her. And Sam in second place again. Actually, Elixir will take second place here. Arson coming in last, also for the second time in a row. Jordy is once again, as we have been told and seen, has been turning up during this playoffs. I don't know what got to her. I don't know if she's taking some enhancing drugs. She might have been doing that. She is known as the meth dealer around these parts. Might have to do some blood tests. Elixir has the record on this map. Has shown some mastery on this map. This map takes a lot of, of skill and dedication. As well as, as well as proof of athleticism. And Arson seems to be lacking it at the start here. We expect to see some great things from Elixir here. But his teammate will be the first one to drop. Oh, there goes Elixir. Taking the perfect line here. Will bounce off of his teammate. Great teamwork by these two. Arson in the back again. You do not like to see this if you are Jordy. As Arson was the one carrying her. Arson might actually be too tired now. After carrying throughout the entire season. All of them will not take the, the, the route that is intended here. And will go backwards. Elixir goes through here. Kind of juggling a little bit. But Jordy will take second. Might take first here. They get stopped by the scanner. It's basically a game of red light, green light. Sam and Elixir are in first right now. And now they go into marble conditioning. The spinners are not spinning though. I don't know what happened to them. Last time we saw this was with the goobers, I'm pretty sure. And these were spinning really fast. But for some reason, they are not spinning. And Jordy goes through first. Jordy has a nice lead here. Elixir finally makes it through. Will Sam make it through as well? Yes, Sam will make it through. But Jordy has such a lead here. It's probably going to end up being another tie. Jordy showing the athleticism here. And the all-around skills. And muscle built up. Sam gets stopped by the scanner. Jordy goes through the heat test. And makes it through there flawlessly. Arson's still in the last. He's going to need a wake up or something. He might have some disdain for having to carry Jordy all the way here, but at this point, Jordy's just been overperforming. You gotta, you gotta let go of that. Arson will die. He did not like that. He must have overheard the cast, and he did not like that. He just said, "Screw this, I'm done. This is not good at all uh, for Mind's Eye." Elixir made it through. Sam also gonna try and make it through here. And Sam will make it through it once again. We have another tie here. Three, three. Here we go. A new map coming in for the racers. We have no record on this map yet. Oh, this is a precision one aiming. 
You have to have good aim and prediction skills. Or predict how far you need to be able to jump in order to get to the center of that target. It's not based on who gets there the fastest. It's who has the better precision and accuracy. Jordy will get through first. Jordy will be the first one to shoot. And gets pretty close. Has some... I... I don't know who won this. What the... Jordy... <laughs> <laughs> Elixir with an insane Elixir just committed suicide on the wall and Jordy, I I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's an ace! For the Alchemist! That was close. And it is now at danger zone. For mind's eye. Sam has the record on this map as well with a three three oh three so this is not looking good for mind's eye at all they cannot tie they cannot just simply win the round they must ace in order to stay alive here jordy has the lead here it was jordy and elixir elixir will take over jordy with a lot of speed here but that might hurt him in the end and it does sam and jordy go through first and elixir not far behind Arson is struggling here. You cannot be struggling this much when you have to ace here in order to stay alive. Arson gets stuck behind a meteor. Elixir is not letting Jordy out of his sight, but he might have just made a mistake here by getting too close. He cannot see that spike in front of him. Sam is caught up here. What about Arson? Arson is still way behind. Sam and Elixir going the same way here. It actually did more harm than it did good for both of these marbles. As it will now increase Jordy's lead here. But it doesn't even matter if Jordy wins this. Sam and Elixir got the, the better line here. And Sam will go on the outside. Same with Elixir. Sam will catch up to Jordy a little bit. But Jordy might be a powerhouse here in the, in the postseason. But her teammate cannot keep up. The last attempt here. Just gotta hope that Sam and Elixir miss here, but it's not looking likely. As Sam makes it in, Elixir makes it in. That will be the end of Mind's Eye. The first seed will move on to the finals. 7-4 is the final score here. Alchemist had that insane, insane ace. When it comes to accuracy and precision. But Arsenal's also one of the top members, and Diamond falls straight through. Chills needs to secure the bag here. Does not want to get ace, but he's also gonna fall off. It looks like Zapper actually has the best route here. This might have been perfect for Team Thunder. He actually died! He missed! Zapper goes through smoothly. He could die here, and he will! Zapper's done for! Electrify! Needs to get first here, but Chills will take over! But Chills is also gonna die! And Electrify's gonna make it through smoothly, and it's looking like it's gonna be another tie unless Diamond dies! Try right, trying to find one of the holes here. And Will. Goofy will also do the same thing. But he falls off the map. What is he doing? Oh, it's not looking good. I think the Goobers have, have lost all sort of hope they had or motivation. But he might have just come back now as Zapper made the same mistake as Goofy. But Electrify will not go through the center. Will Astro go through the center? No, he will not do that. He will just follow through with Electrify. Never mind, he's just gonna die. And that will conclude today's tournament. The next tournament will we will see the winner of the entire season one of this marbles race series. Alchemist been absolutely destroying. Team Thunder been climbing up the ranks. Mind's Eye absolutely destroying and outperforming what everyone expected of them. They lost to the first seed. 
but they are the first seed for a reason. We will see you in the next round.